hereby created and established on the effective date. The boundaries of the created Justice Peace Precinct are hereby fixed and established as set forth in Exhibit B, which correctly reflects the Justice of Peace Precincts as they will exist on and after the effective date. Place one, place, precinct 1, Place 1, and Place 2, Justice Peace Precinct 1 encompasses a population requiring more than one Justice Peace, therefore Justice Peace Precinct 1 shall have Place 1 and Place 2 to provide for two Justice Peace on and after the effective date. Election precincts, number five. Exhibit B truly cor and correctly identifies the election precincts and voting boxes to be encompassed by each of the newly created Justice Peace precincts on the effective date. No election precinct or voting box has been included in more than one Justice of the Peace precinct. Item number six, where current office soldiers will serve. By operation of state law, the Justice of the Peace and Constitution <coughs> served in the abolished Justice of the Peace precincts continue to serve as Justice of the Peace and Constables in the new Justice of the Peace precinct in which they reside and have the same powers and authorities as before within the new precinct. The schedule attached here to is Exhibit C sets forth for the public a listing of Justice of the Peace and Constables, the precincts in which they serve before the effective date, and the precincts that they each serve after the effective date until the term expires or the position is vacated by resignation or otherwise. Number seven, the Commissioner's Court may supplement this order to include any additional information required to comply with state or federal law. Any and then I think the exhibit is pretty self-explanatory. Exhibit A is the prior precincts. Exhibit B1 shows the five new precincts with the, the labels on it. B2 through B4 list of the election precincts by new JP and constable precincts and, and Schedule C, as I said, is the schedule of all the soldiers. Any <coughs> and obviously, uh, work very closely with Kathy to come up with this, this order so that, you know, one of the objectives was to uh, be concise uh, but give enough uh, information so that the public and those affected by these changes will know uh, precisely where they stand. Uh, obviously this order takes uh, these new precincts uh, and makes them effective uh, in June uh, and from that point forward the Constitution laws that says Texas um, will control the election process and generally that calls for the appointment by the precinct chairs uh, for uh, the new elected JPs and constables to be elected by the voters in the general election. And that's, and that's the process that uh, is in place under the Constitution laws of the state of Texas. So uh, I think we're in in good shape to move forward with the election of those new constables and JPs in November. Any questions, comments? So until the new election, uh, JPs and constables continue to serve in their respective areas? Yes, and based on where, the, if, if the new line look at their residence and where their residence is and the office they will serve. He listed that here on the back end. Right. Yes, that's on the very last schedule. Make a motion to approve the order L7F with regards to 
to the district. Second. Second. Motion made second. Discussion. No discussion call for a vote. Aye. 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 Aye.